ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Brandon Gross, and I want to welcome you to Real Talk, brought to you by Editor X, the world's most powerful no-code web design platform for designers and creatives alike. Real Talk is a live show where we share with you exciting design, news, trends, career advice, and conversations with thought leaders in the space, entrepreneurs, agency owners, and more around no code, UI, UX, product design, and the marketing spaces, and on top of that, so much more. If that sounds right up your alley, do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can come back each week to get your daily and weekly dose of information. And also, if you feel so inclined, don't forget to like this video. It helps tremendously. So with that said, let's jump into today's conversation. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another Editor X Live hosting Real Talk with me, your host, Brandon Gross. Today, we have three amazing topics. We're going to be diving into one of the newly released features of EdRx, which is rich content. We'll get a, li a little bit into that, show you guys where you guys can learn more, uh, talk a little bit about it and why it's so cool. We're going to also talk about Lottie animations if you guys have not at all been privy with what is going on in that aspect of bringing some really cool animation embeds to EdRx. And we're also going to be talking about how you can create a, well, not only create a website, but actually turn one of your websites into a native mobile app using EdRx. So with that said, let's dive in. And I also want to say hello to all of you guys in the live chat. And I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Let us know where you guys are coming in from if you are new to this sort of conversation. With that said, let's go ahead and go to my screen and dive in to our first topic. So first things first, we are going to be talking about the rich content feature on Editor X. So basically, this was literally released publicly or announced five hours ago. And or really, I think it was yesterday was the first time I heard it. And it was just posted five hours ago, this post particularly on rich content on Editor X. So basically, it says, hey, community, we're super excited to announce the rich content that is now available on Editor X. Basically, how it works, rich content allows you to edit text, images and videos directly from the content manager. You can add, edit, and delete the fields in the same way you would edit any other field and display the content with a complete dynamic structure. So basically, without me just reading off the page, because <laughs> all you guys, everything we're going to be talking about today, the links are down in the descrip description for you all to also read and check out yourself. But if we take a look at this piece here, essentially what I think is important about this is that you we now have the ability to create dynamic pages that also have dynamic structures i think this is a big challenge for a lot of people where they were really creating <laughs> content rich websites where they needed to create not only dynamic pages but also dynamic content that spread and was able to be manipulated uh and, and really be flexible with the dynamic pages so with that said i just want to kind of just like double doubly promote that this is now out there especially if you guys are creating uh, content heavy sites and you are creating dynamic pages and you before weren't able to really uh have your content manager meld and be flexible with your dynamic pages you now can and uh if you guys want to check this linked out it is down in the description i'm going to refresh so you guys can kind of see i'm going to try to uh, full screen this so we can get the the full breadth of what is going on here so they're basically dragging in the rich content uh, element. And I guess this is just a little bit of a, a preview. I've not yet dived into it myself, but I just kind of, again, what we're going to dive in today a little bit more, which I have dived into, is the Lottie. We're actually going to create a little something to show you how awesome it is. But I also just wanted to give a nice little shout out to this new feature that just dropped yesterday. All right. So let's move on. So I really want to talk about the new feature Lottie animations and let me go ahead and close out these puppies. So our new, the new feature Lottie animations, I'm actually really curious for those of you in the chat who have used Lottie animations. Do you like it? How do you feel about it? How easy do you feel it is? Because I actually dig it. I actually for today's session, I did basically try to reproduce what we have here. Um, <laughs> myself, in, in, instead of uh, Lucia, we have Brandon Gross. So basically, it is not going to, what we'll show you here is one, how easy it is to pull in a Lottie animation, two, how it works, and we'll just go from there. 
So what we're kind of looking at here, let's kind of go to the final website here. So we have our animation here, the exact animation that we pulled from Lottie that is in our editor X example here. And we have, you know, our regular, uh, regular content with our button. We have our header, our third, our H3, etc. So let's actually go through how this works. So let me go ahead and delete that. So let's actually pull in our Lottie animation for the first time. So we're going to go to add elements. We are going to go to our embed and social. And this is where our Lottie animations live. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this. I'm going to pull this into my section here. And it comes with an automatically loading animation here. So I'm just going to scale this to my heart's content just like this. And now how we change this is very obvious. I just click on my element. I'm going to go ahead and click change animation. And what I'm going to go ahead and do here is we are going to go ahead and go to change animation just like this. And give me a second, guys, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. So what I'm now am able to do is if you guys have ever been on LottieFiles.com, there are a ton of different Lottie animations that we can bring in. And we can also search for exactly what we want. We can filter through recent, we can filter through popular animators and things like that. So, and we also have a search bar. So I, so if I want to type in, for example, cat, if I'm looking for some sort of cat animation, I can simply get a neon cat just like this, clicking on it, grabbing this Lottie animation URL, copying it like this, going back to editor X and literally just replacing that URL just like this and there we go <laughs> we have our nice animated beautiful artwork just like that so there are a ton of things that you guys can look and really search for on Lottie to pull into your website and actually start bringing some of what you are creating to life through motion so really easy stuff there we kind of gone through a little bit of the Con rich content that is now out. We have Lottie animations, which is really awesome. I absolutely, absolutely, I absolutely love you know the fact that I'm able to pull in uh, you know animated content outside of just the um, like the see-through PNGs essentially. All right, so let's talk about another thing. This is actually really cool. We had a uh, a member of our Discord ask about no code applications. And I actually decided to take it upon myself and Google this. And so, if you guys know, Wix already has a branded app by Wix sort of plugin. And there's also EditorX plugins that you guys can also integrate to your website. We'll talk about that in a second. But I wanted to talk about this first very quickly. I just kind of wanted to open up the website very quickly go into this video and just show you why I like the power of Wix is still in editor X. A lot of their plugins, a lot of the things that, um, you know, make Wix powerful. We have at our disposal in editor X as well. So as <laughs> this video is nice and beautiful, but what I wanted to showcase to you all, um, is a couple things that, you know, I'll just full screen this so we can, you know, get a, a little taste. David says, we love you, Brandon. <laughs> thank, thank you, David. I appreciate that. So we don't need to watch the full thing, but let's actually show you how this kind of works out. So what I've done here, I have did it a little bit in advanced. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to scroll down here and basically get a little call to action, build your app. And it brings me automatically to my, it says Wix, but literally these are all my editor X websites. As you guys can see, there is an editor X sort of tag above all of my websites. I can go ahead and click on this, any one of my websites, and I get brought to a dashboard to help continue to help me how to take this website and actually create an app out of it. So I get brought to this page, create your own branded mobile app. Brand, build brand credibility with your own mobile app that's listed on the app and Google store. Set up your app with guided setup, guided steps, set, get full integration with your Wix site, 
send unlimited push notifications, enjoy enhanced app performance with automatic updates. So I can automatically go and jump right in to build my application or, and I'm gonna make this a little bigger because I see that <laughs> it's super small in my screen. And also you guys can get a full step-by-step -step guide on how to build the application. Now there is a question in the chat. Let me go ahead and switch my screen so I can go ahead and answer it. So the question in the chat is from Danielle. Is there a reason you use EditorX over Webflow? Yes, <laughs> very much so. And if you watch any of the applications or tutorials that we have on this channel, you'll see exactly why. Because I literally can build very complex things in just a matter of minutes. For example, I yesterday, let me go ahead and, and just show you guys uh, what I built yesterday for a tutorial later this week. So I very simply, it took me 30 minutes to build out not only this in Editor X, not just desktop, but I was also able to build this. And of course, this is just an example, but I was able to build this without touching. Yes, no code, right? But all through dragging and dropping, <laughs> it is, Editor X is very much to me very close to my design tools, Editor X, Figma. I can drag things where I need to. I can dock things so that they're responsive. It, to me, it is no different than a design tool, except I actually can make live living things. So to me, that's why it's more powerful than Wix, because with Wix, I have to look at the sidebar the entire time. I have to put in my numbers. Yes, there is a little bit of that in Editor X, but the majority of the time I am literally just dragging, dropping, like I'll do, I'll do some of this, uh, you know, um, like it, it's just, it's just really simple, honestly. And if you join some of our, uh, I'll just pull them up right here. So you guys have uh, context. So sessions like this, if you guys, this is the last live stream. Every month we have two live streams. We have a master class on Editor X and we have an advanced class on Editor X. And basically in almost, in little under two hours, and part of the two hours, the reason that it took that long is because I'm talking to the live stream uh, chat the entire time, but, and answering questions. But we created a very simple site from scratch. Let me go ahead and open that too. Like we went ahead and we made this puppy in literally under two hours. It's fully responsive. We got a nice little button animation. And it, it, it's just so easy. And yes, you're like, oh, well, you know, editor, uh, Wix, or excuse me, Webflow may do this too. But the ease in which as a designer, I can very much design my website and not have to think about anything technical at all other than design. That's why I like it. That's my short answer. So I hope that is valuable to you, my friend, Danielle. Here's the difference. Like, I feel like when I have been in Webflow in the past, <laughs> my brain is like, <laughs> like I'm not being a designer. In Editor X, I can be a designer. Oh, and I wasn't, I wasn't even showing you guys my screen. How, how, how terrible. But this stuff here, let me go ahead and refresh because my, I didn't realize I wasn't showing you guys. But like I said, this stuff here, this took, the live stream was two, uh, almost two hours. But we built all of this, the animations and everything. It's fully responsive. Button animations, we're good to go. But yes, short answer, I feel like a designer when I use Editor X. I do not feel like a designer in any other platform. Okay, and to recap on that, the if you guys want to check out the tutorial for this puppy, I'll put it in the chat. But like I said, it's, it's just a mindset difference. I wanna feel like a designer when I'm creating whatever I'm creating, not feeling s like a pseudo developer. All right, so let's go back into our conversation on the uh, no code application. So there is very simply, like I said, and the links for this are down in the description. This is wix.com forward slash app builder. For those of you who are thinking, well, Brandon, that's Wix. What are you talking about? Um, it is, but it's also Editor X. A lot of the applications, the apps that are built 
for Wix, we get as Editor X users. And on top of that, I kind of just showcase to you, you know, if you click this build your app, it takes you to your Editor X site and you can just start building your app right from here. But I also did also want to showcase some other plugins straight within Editor X that you can use. So if you have created a blank page here, I'm just going to go to the app market just here. And I am going to just type in app. And I get a couple options. So there are my mobile app, turn your site into a native mobile application and instant mobile app, which, you know, the ratings aren't the highest, but there are some other alternatives to this here. So if you guys want to try compare and contrast and uh, you know see how you feel in this more power to you but I just wanted to give you guys today's session is going to be really short I just wanted to inform you and educate you on there are new features in editor X one rich content two a lot of animations and three you guys can actually create websites in editor X yes but actually being able to take those websites and turn them into native apps so all right ladies and gentlemen that is basically what we have for today so i hope you guys enjoyed our very quick segment what we're going to do is after this today every wednesday at 1 p.m we do go live and do these sort of reports design news kind of what's new with editor x and other really cool things if you guys want to continue to join our conversation or if you want to ask any questions about editor x or even like danielle um <laughs> you know whatever you guys want we are about to go into our discord and continue this conversation but not just with my voice the rest of your guys too so just really quick if you guys are new to our channel things like that let me pull my screen up one more time in our discord we are going to be doing our we're going to go into our voice in chat and really we're going to be basically chilling and chatting there's already how players already in there ready to go but we're just hanging out for another 30 minutes we can talk about what we want to talk about or we can it's just fun guys we can talk about what we want to talk about if you guys have some serious questions cool we can talk about that using your voice not just text but 30 minutes every wednesday are live streams 30 minutes after that it's just what we're calling design chat so come the link is down in the description come hang out join the discord and i will see you guys there so thank you kyle victor randy danielle and david thank you guys for hanging out and let me see if there's any final things uh that i've missed in the live chat randy says i have working i've been working also and i saw the app builder in wix thanks ps i have a mic for later hey <laughs> randy i can't wait to hear you in the uh in our chat kyle says beautiful kyle says thanks man thank you too kyle <laughs> and victor says rich content will save me some time i think it's going to save a lot of people time all right ladies and gentlemen so that is it for now i will see you guys in the discord and let's have some fun Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching and tuning into this episode of Real Talk, brought to you by Editor Rex, the world's most powerful no-code web design platform for designers and creatives alike. If you want to watch more amazing videos like this, check out our playlist down in the description with all of our Real Talk episodes, including other educational videos like Editor X tutorials. And also, do not forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification so you get notified each week when we go live, and of course, if you feel so inclined, don't forget to smash the like button because it helps us reach more creatives like yourself each and every day. With that said, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. With that said, Brandon Gross, out.